What's up Dyer's Dyer Gorgon here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, um, let's just say recently there have been uh, basically nothing um, done to the game for quite a long time. And basically one of the things that is one of the things that I'm really excited for and hopefully comes out sooner or later than just in about five decades or something like that are the um, what's it called new gun remodels. Now alongside that it was a hundred percent confirmed or somewhat confirmed but i'd say like 75 percent confirmed that we were going to actually get skins into this game like many of the other games or not many of the other games um but basically i do not know what these skins will look like or how to get them but some people and a lot of people actually have been um theorizing that it's going to be like either um, what's it called leveling up and earning them to like a certain level like probably like level 100 or something like that or probably like level 20 30 or <clears throat> They're gonna add a new feature which was basically gonna be the um, what's it called you collect some sort of currency in game and then you can use that currency to purchase boxes that are full or just only have like one skin of uh, cosmetic in them and with that you can either customize I'm pretty sure mostly uh human stuff probably 100% like loadouts uh, weapons and stuff like that and I'm not too sure about infected but I'm pretty sure infected is 100% guaranteed because obviously duh but one of the things I wanted to talk about was how we were going to get those skins and the other things because if you actually go to um, what's it called the discord um, sneak peeks and stuff like that you actually see mutations and all alongside all of that but also achievements but there's no skins there but it was confirmed that, um, what skins were going to be worked on after remo the remodel things were done. But the question is, when is the remodel thing, uh, what's called weapons, going to come out or be over? Which nobody knows because it's been out for literally, I believe, a year. And it still hasn't um, all been released yet. Hopefully it does get released within a few months. But um, but we don't want to be too greedy. Well, I'm pretty sure we are. Really but practically saying, one of the things I want to talk about were the achievement system. And a lot of the people were talking about how this achievement system would affect the game or just more or less affect whichever side would mostly be able to get them. For an example, an achievement could be eliminate 100 infected or probably deal damage with the spitters, I guess, um, ability, that type of achievement. And on the screen now, you're going to be seeing some of the achievements or badges or pretty sure some of the other things that I did work on for like a few minutes, which I'm pretty sure like 10 minutes ish. And these aren't, of course, actually like what's it called me hacking in or anything like that, because these are actually just my made up ideas. But I believe that what's it called every achievement or badge, as you could say, has basically two sides. So, um, I was thinking of an idea called the mastery. Now, um, this isn't necessarily guaranteed, but it actually is pretty decent in my opinion. But basically, there are two sides to the mastery feature. There is badges and weapon things, or just more or less um, gold stuff, if you would prefer. So let's get into the gold stuff first. To for the gold stuff first, um, for what you need to do to actually get these things is you need to do a bunch of tasks and this can only be done for a weapon so for an example we're gonna do the revolver or python however you want to call it and for the python we're gonna be doing eliminate 15 affected very simple and this could be like the first stage or second stage very simple not really good of a reward with 10,000 gold which isn't much i mean it's only the first stage so very easy and then the second or third stage when you actually complete it get more progressively harder but not as super hard like the um, Christmas um, what's it called challenges or anything like that. So the second stage could be like deal damage to infected. Third challenge could be spend time with only the revolver equipped or maybe even kill um, what's it called the juggernaut with the python or something like that. And then finally, once you get to the last stage, which I'm pretty sure is probably either like the third or fourth or fifth or fifth stage of whatever you're trying to get to gold would be probably either getting all the challenges and turning them into one or probably just a super different challenge altogether and once you get to the final stage and you complete it you earn the gold weapon now of course this can be equipped for the regular gun but it's just completely gold or just partly gold with some other colors on it making others being like oh crap that guy literally spent so much time um getting the gold version of the skin meaning he's been 
playing this game for a long time, meaning he's really good at this game or just took completely a lot of efforts. And you may be saying, well, does this affect only primary or secondaries? And um, no, this actually affects primary, secondaries, and infected as well. The question is, what necessarily will it affect an infected? I think the easiest ones are more or less like the spitter's spit. It could be turned into some other color, but gold or something like that with some bubbles or something like that. And for the juggernaut, you could just paint his entire body because it's a completely different model instead of like your own character. So you, took, you can basically color his skin, his pants and stuff like that, and especially his rock. So that's nice. But for other zombies like the um, chiller, regular zombie, crawler, spitter it's gonna be a little bit difficult because they're technically your avatar but just morphed a little bit so that's gonna be a little bit difficult but i think the easiest ones are spitter juggernaut banshee maybe with her claws um hunter probably when he leaves he leaves behind like some sort of contrail or something like that and yeah and you may be saying how will it how will it basically how are the challenges will be for the zombies basically the easy theme as well you have to play as that zombie and a challenge of course uh, a, a task will be given of whichever zombie you would like to basically uh, get some sort of a cosmetic for for the mastery thing and it could be um, for an example the hunter like leap this amount of times stay alive as a hunter this many times eliminate uh, humans as uh, many times as a hunter blah 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 until you eventually get to the last stage and you earn the what's it called the thing you were working for Probably gold or something like that. I don't know. And then you may be saying, well, does each stage give you something? Yeah. First stage, which is easy, gold. Second stage, probably diamonds. Third, fourth is whatever. I'm not too sure about that. It could be diamonds or something like that. But if they ever do release, like, skin and stuff like that, you could put skin goals or, like, um, what's it called? Another currency there. So that's going to be nice. And that's basically the first page of Mastery. Basically getting challenges for whatever character or weapon and you basically use that thing until you eventually make enough progress to get to the last stage of it and you basically unlock the skin for it. Which is nice because that alerts every or just tells everyone you've been playing as this thing or using this thing for a long time so they know that's your favorite which you know is a pretty nice thing. Plus you can also flex who doesn't want that. And the second page to the entire thing is the badges which I call. Now these badges are technically kind of the same thing all you have to do is just do a specific task or just um, pretty simple tasks like for an example for um, an achievement or badge as you could say and this is related to the achievement thing in the discord thing but in a little bit more of like a I guess earnful way and what's it called these badges um, to basically get these badges you have to do the same thing as the master you have to actually complete thing certain tasks so for an example, to get the medic badge is easy. All you have to do is just heal a teammates with the medkit. Very simple, and you will get a, you know, pretty standard badge of a medic. But if you continue to, I guess, complete the same task, and be fair, you can actually do multiple tasks, especially in the gold and skin side of the zombies and loadouts, and also the badges, so you can do multiple of them at the same time, so you could spend um, less time doing one after another. But for the badges as well, you can also do that. So for an example, you can do the medic one. And if you complete the first stage and you move on to the second stage, the badge more or less becomes more epic and more better looking the more you um, go through the stages of the medic um, pass. And once you get to the last stage, the medic badge will look so, I guess, awesome and epic. Will be, and it will look so good that basically people will be like, damn, bro, that person right there loves to be this specific um, person in these types of games. We definitely need them on our team. And you may be saying, what do you do with these badges? Does, does it just appear like on your profile, like um, outside of the game and stuff like that? No, because my, um, my thing of adding this in is basically a long time ago, a contract update was released, which basically locked every single gold thing and made contracts. And you use those contracts with gold to unlock them and basically permanently. But the only thing I want to add back in the update is only the profile feature, which you see like a little orange thing with a little orange, um, what's it called, side, and you get to see your character face on it. Add that back in, not the contracts or anything, only your character's um, profile things with the levels. And with that, you can have um, a few badge slots. And in that badge slot, you can basically put the badges like the med kit, uh, uh, medic, 
stats that we've been talking about. And that way you could just click on your profile and see what you are basically good at. And um, in the party system, which you can basically invite people and um, increase the chances of playing together, you can basically um, you can basically see other people's badges and let you know who you want on your team or who's really like you know good good in this game. Really, that way you get to actually see, of course, who's been playing this game for a while or who's good, and basically you get to see you know, who, who really is. Basically meaning you get to flex and stuff like that. And it really lets you know who your teammates are and how can you basically make your team amazingly good. And then you may be saying, are these badges only for uh, humans? No, because they actually go for the infected as well. Some of these could be in eliminate um, humans, um, what's it called, stalk humans for a period of time. Or maybe even like stay alive as a zombie for as long as possible. And the more you do that certain badge, that same badge... Um, and you go through the stages of that one specific badge, like for an example, stock um, humans. And the more you do it, the more epic and more better looking that badge becomes. And eventually you are able to, well, you can basically place it on your profile from the beginning. But once you place it on your profile, it looks so good that people will be like, damn, bro, they were really good at that. We definitely want them on our team. And basically, it, badges are more or less how to represent yourself and who you are in this game. And basically get to um, tell everybody here's what I am good at and here's what basically I rock at and do you want me on your team that's basically the system of badges or achievements in my opinion so in, in basic um, summarization these uh, mastery feature that I've been working on is basically adding two things in number one are skin things and um, what's it called the, these skins can only be unlocked once you have the um, weapon or whatever it is unlocked and then um you have to basically use that weapon until you eventually get it to gold version and these challenges get harder and harder for that weapon until you eventually get the gold version and for the same thing for infected you just basically have to play that certain infected deal tasks as that infected and eventually unlock some sort of gold or something else thing for that infected that basically tells everyone wow they are good as that infected or wow dude they've been playing as that infected and they have the gold version so we are rock or they are basically rad and for the second part of the mastery feature is badges which basically you get to just play the game and basically do um, tasks or um, certain objectives that basically um, you get to level up and continue progress with which basically gives you the um, badges which you are able to earn and place them on your character and basically get to see other people using these and you get to see who you want your team, who you want to friend with, or who you want to avoid at all costs. And this basically gives a more or less um, better feature of telling who you are within a server and who you're playing with. And basically saying, do you want to be the very best? Or maybe even there's like a badge or something like that that's like collect all badges to actually show how long you've been playing the game for. That's basically the mastery feature. One are gold skins, um, which is of course access by humans and um, zombies by just doing tasks until they get harder and harder and eventually unlock the gold things for that and finally badges which basically allow you to express yourself on who you are on what you are amazingly good at and how long you've been playing the game for and who you want on your team or who you want to be friend with and that's basically the mastery feature now of course this is all my opinion and nobody else's you may be saying well it's just confirmed well the skin thing is and the achievement is we just don't necessarily know how they're going to be but with the badges you can basically place on your profile thing from the contract update but that's basically it from that but that's basically all in my opinion and if you guys enjoyed from the examples that i placed on the screen then i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then i guess like or something i don't know but hope you guys enjoyed and if you did i guess do that and yeah i'll see you all in five years